Hallelujah. Good morning, church. You may be seated. Thank you. With God, all things are possible. Viewers all over the world, and those who are under the influence of my voice, whatever medium you are using to watch us, we are with you, and you are with us by faith. Happy New Year. Let me greet you. This new year, we shall talk about how we can equip ourselves, prepare for whatever challenges. It's your year, no doubt about us. <laughs> yes, it will come with strange and uncommon challenges, but notwithstanding, it's your year. If you go by the year of rewards, God is your rewarder. It's mine. Okay, if God is your rewarder, it's your year. Say, no matter the challenge, it's my year. God is my rewarder. Hallelujah. You open with me the book of Matthew 5. I will take my reading from verse 1. That is Matthew 5. Now, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. He began to teach them what? Let's go to the proof test. But I tell you, love your enemies. Hmm. I say hmm because it has been an issue. Not that you don't love, you love. But the kind of law you have is a love with expectation. You have been loving, kind, but love with what? Expectation. Jesus tells his disciples, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. You know what it means to love those who persecute you. That you may be children of your father in heaven. It causes sun to rise on the evil and the good and send rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. That is both the evil and good enjoy the rain. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are you not even the tax collector doing that? That is the tax collector do the same. And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Hmm. Do not even pagan do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly father is. What the Bible is talking about is law without expectation. Law without what? Expectation. When we love without expectation, our love is being sown to the Spirit. To sow love to the Spirit is to honor God in our act of love, doing, saying, whatever you do. Anything you do to carry God along or to honor God, you are doing it in spirit because God is spirit and we worship him, worship him in spirit and truth. I mean, in true, true humility and submission to his way. I take you back again. Because you are very, very loving, but with expectation. You hardly love people without expectation. You hardly give kiss to ugly 
person. You prefer to give kiss to beautiful and handsome person. That is your expectation, your reward. Are you there? This is a new year. I want you to grow. Use the opportunity of that reward that is coming for you. Because God is our rewarder. Love without expectation ends us the love of our Heavenly Father. That is what they are saying in that verse 44. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. And do good to those who hate you. You will receive blessing of your Heavenly Father. You know, I say you are very loving, so kind with expectation. Hardly you will do something without expecting something. It's all about selfish, classic, and material reasons. Love without expectation ends us the love of our Heavenly Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, the kingdom come. When you show God's love, you reap God's love. We need to develop faith in this spiritual law. We need to develop faith in this what? Spiritual what? Spiritual love. You just have to develop faith. If your faith is faith in faith, mm, you are deceiving yourself. That is tit for tat. If your faith is faith in faith, faith in yourself, you is tit for tat. Hit me, I hate you. But the faith in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ must be developed in this spiritual law. Love without expectation says love your enemies bless those who curse you do good to those who hate you and you will receive the blessing of your heavenly father that is it this year for you to receive that reward great reward you must love without expectation. Expectation of certain behaviors from loved ones, relatives, acquaintances, and friends set us up for offense. Take for instance, I expect you to greet me. Because of help, I rendered. Or my superiority in age. Or my position as Pastor T.B. Joshua. You are a member. I'm expecting you to greet me. And you ignore me. This is a major root of offense. T.B. Joshua is expecting you to greet me. You are a member. And I'm going. You expect me to be, but you just walk out on me, ignore me. This is a major root of offense. Because I'm expecting you to greet me because of my position or my superiority in age or whatever. We often get disappointed and offended when our Expectations are not met. Cut down on your expectation from people before you set up yourself for offense. Tell your neighbor, cut down on your expectation from people before you set up yourself for offense. Viewers all over the world, listen to me. Cut down on your expectation from people before you set up yourself for offense. 
expectation of certain behaviors should carefully be observed. Tell your neighbor, expectation of certain behaviors should carefully be observed. I expect Mr. A to do this and that B to do that. There's nothing bad with that, but that should not lead to offense. We are often shocked, surprised, and confused when offended. As if we are the only ones wrong. As if no one else has ever been wrong. Yet, Jesus made it clear in Luke 17, verse 1 it is impossible to live this life and not have the opportunity to be offended. In that verse one, they say, it is impossible to live this life and not have the opportunity to be offended. I mean, it is impossible that no offenses should come. It is not a question of opportunity to be offended, but what your response will be. Tell your neighbor, my response determines my future. When I'm hot, when I'm deeply hurt, when I'm bitter, my response determines my future. Take note of that. If you know that tactic and strategy of Satan, you overcome Satan. When I'm hurt, when I'm deeply hurt, bitter, cheated, wrongly accused, my response determines my future. Stand up and tell the viewers all over the world and stretch your hand and tell them so that the awareness will be known. Viewers, when you are hurt, deeply hurt, Bitter, Bitter, wrongly accused, Bitter. persecuted, Bitter. your response determine your future. You may be seated, you may be seated. Now, from the, this moment, when you are going and somebody is trying to mistreat you or accuse you wrongly, ha, why are you pushing me? Be careful. Two wrong do not make a right. <laughs> or you move just little to the opposite and somebody took over your seat and you are expected to find your seat. Your Bible is there and the person moved your Bible and sit on your seat. Oh, be careful. Your response determine your future. You expected someone to pay your money, and you now say, no, 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 he promised me today he must pay the money back. And you now move with the police, move with this security, and you want to, or you landlord. Landlord today can be a tenant tomorrow, and tenant today can be landlord tomorrow. Pastor today can be a drunkard tomorrow. And drunkard today can be pastor tomorrow. You rich man, a rich man today can be poor man tomorrow. 
and the poor man today can be rich man tomorrow. A sinner today can be what? And the righteous man today can be what? Yeah. This is why the Bible says the beginner is not the owner, but the finisher. Yeah. There is a race. There is a race that I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true. There is a race, a race that I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour. Lord will see you through. Yeah. You may be seated. Viewers all over the world, those of you under the influence of my voice, the Lord will see you through. Yeah. The book of Galatians says, if one is caught in act of wrong, you that caught the person to restore the person so that you will not be what? You will not be tempted. Your response when you are hurt, when you are embarrassed, when you are mistreated, when you are misjudged, when you are wrongly accused, persecuted, hated, your response determines your future. You hear Jesus on the cross? He said, Father, forgive them. Them means offender and offended. Father, forgive them. <clears throat> Often, the response we exhibit leave us vulnerable to a root of bitterness. Take note of that. Often, the response we exhibit leave us vulnerable to a root of bitterness, anger, strife, outrage, jealousy, and envy, hatred, and resentment. We must therefore be ready, prepared, and strongly armed for offense. Because our response determines our future. When you get home, you open the book of Acts 24, verse 16. You must, therefore, be ready, prepared, and strongly armed for offense. You wake up in the morning, your little baby you're expecting her to greet you, ignore you. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What? From what is wrong with you to anger, from anger, bitterness, from bitterness to jealousy and so on. You are trapped in prison. Offense is the effective instrument used by Satan. Offense is very common. Epidemic, rampart, unavoidable. 
occur everywhere, bound to happen. Because the Bible says it is impossible to live among people and not have the opportunity to be offended. Bound to happen, occur everywhere. We have almost come to believe that it is a way of life. We have almost come to believe that it is a way of life because it's come up everywhere. If Satan wants to impress you, he knows how to go about it through offense. Satan wants to embarrass you through offense. Look at what happened to Job. Satan came to go, oh, this man you say is righteous, leave me, let me tempt him, let me provoke him, let me hurt him, let me cause him bitterness. They said to me, all your dreams for many years will come true this year. Yeah. Was, whatever medium you are using to watch us, once you are under the influence of my voice, your dream for many years come true this year. Yeah. Dream of finances. Yeah. Dream of breakthrough. Yeah. Good health. Yeah. Prosperity. Yeah. Come true. 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 In the name of Jesus. They was. I separate you from nightmares. I separate you from nightmare. I separate you from nightmare. I separate you from nightmare. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. In the name of Jesus. When I say nightmare, I mean every foolish thing. Just think of any foolish thing. Any foolish thing. The root of Satan, the root of offense. Viewers, listen once again. By the authority in the name of Jesus, whatever Jesus. medium you are using to wash us, so far you are under the influence of my voice. Come on. I separate you from nightmare. 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 Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Jesus loves you. Your response determines your future. Offense, there's nothing you can do about that. The only thing, don't feed on it in your heart. Don't add it. People will offend you. Offense in self is not deadly. As it stays in your heart, it's not deadly. Well, it is not easiest role to take. Humility and self-denial. Like I have said, when people embarrass you, curse you, misjudge you, persecute you, lie against you, wrong accusation, your response is your weapon. It's the key to lose bound. You see that, that response lock you more or open for sure. When Satan know you are doing well, you are happy, they come with offense. Your reaction to that offense determines your future. Tell your neighbor, your reaction to that offense determines your future. When they know you are happy family, you are okay, everything is good, everything is all right. Your beautiful car or posh car, you are planning to go to church, getting there, the engine knock. You say, oh no, I cannot go to church again. Why? Satan has trapped you. My family, we have to stay. Today we cannot go to church because the engine knock. Who gave you the vehicle? Is it a crime to bless you? When you did not have the vehicle, you know how to come to church, how to worship your God. Now the blessing of God has become what? A burden. 
a crime. I was telling my people last week that, look, even mosquito can cause offense. While you are fasting, praying, happy with yourself, mosquito will just come from nowhere and make sure it feeds on you and becoming so much. By the time you just see it, you see a pool of blood in your beautiful garment. Will you not hold offense? You say, oh, what is all this? What is all this? What is all this? From offense come what? Anger, outrage, stripes. This new year, you should carefully observe the major root of what? I bless you. Rise up. I will not leave you without offering this prayer. It's a prophetic word. Join me in prayer. So much, so long you have been dreaming, but your dream has not come true. This is the year. Amen. Open your lips right now. Your dreams for many years come true this year. Amen. Come true this year. Amen. Dream of finances, Amen. prosperity, Amen. good health. Amen. Come true in the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to separate yourself. Separate yourself from your situation. Separate yourself from that nightmare. Separate yourself from that nightmare. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. I separate myself from that nightmare. Je me sépare de ce cauchemar. Mais be pas separated. Be well all over the world. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Begin to separate yourself from that sickness. Separate yourself from that setback. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. Separate yourself from that fleshly desire and thought. Fleshly desire and thought. Separate yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor, when you are hot, when I'm deeply hot, bitter, my response determines my future. Offense is the effective instrument used by Satan to trap you, to impress you, to make you a born servant. That is, it can send you an error to kill, to destroy, and to make you a bond servant. Are you with me? Listen, say to yourself, offense is the effective instrument used by Satan to trap you, to imprint you, I mean to make you a bond servant. Yes, your reaction to that offense Give back to hurt, anger, jealousy, envy, outrage, tribes, resentment. Just name it. So therefore, your response determines your future. Amen. Whether you are wrong or right, you do not have permission or the right to hold on to offense. Because two wrong do not make a rise. Amen.
tell your neighbor whether you are right or wrong, whether you are wrongly accused or not, whether you are persecuted or not, you do not have the right or permission to hold on to offense because two wrongs do not make a right. Tell your neighbor once again, because you are persecuted, you are mistreated, wrongly accused, falsely accused, cheated, you do not have the right, you do not have permission to hold on to offense because two wrongs do not make a right. This is what Jesus meant. Bless those who curse you. And do good to those who hate you. Tell your neighbor, this is what Jesus meant. Bless those who curse you. And do good to those who hate you. Until you begin to live and love without expectation, your life will continue to be epileptic. Today, good. Tomorrow, up, down, up, down. Business is going. Tomorrow, no. Until you continue to love without expectation. Tell your neighbor, love without expectation. I can hear you. Care without expectation. I can hear you. Again. Love without expectation. Care without expectation. I can hear you again. Again and again. If it come, if it's not come, you are not expecting that. If I care for you, I'm not expecting reward. Because my reward from heaven. And you are not even the person that will reward me. If I care for you, someone is somewhere to reward me. Yeah. Hallelujah. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.